Good morning, Brian with Grand Roofing. We're going to do a quick video of a roof inspection. We're getting ready to figure for an estimate. This is one I figured in the past, maybe a year ago, remotely. Very uh, cautious in the wording. I'm like, hey, this is all done remote. If it's in the ballpark, we'll come back and do a further inspection. It didn't go anywhere. I don't know the whole story of new ownership or what, but we got a call about the same property. We're working not far from it, so we're here, and I am blown away at some of the stuff I see. Not so much that we're going to learn a lot about it, uh, could learn from the video, but we're just going to get into it and see what we can see and the stuff that happens. By the way, on the way in, if you could, you know what to do. Um, yeah, so it's a one and a half story kind of. This up here is about 11, 12 pitch. This down here, about a six. Set the ladder up. We just checked the gable in here, getting some rough measurements, and I'm blown away at what I see. Um, when you're looking street view you can get a pretty good idea even in a little town like this we had a good street view coming down this road here so pan around get kind of an idea but you can never see from the street view google street view how many layers what condition the decking is in what might be lurking underneath like back here uh so yeah shake right here i just see some waviness and then i see this hip i'm like what do we have going on over here watch your step it feels like it could be a little soft i don't know i'm gonna stand on this fascia board here uh step up on a rafter but it's just very rough and i have a suspicion but there's a few things in all my years of roofing you've got to admire the attempt at the craftsmanship for this multiple layer roof over and how they did their hip they did run the underlying side and they brought the side the tire over and cracked the line out of the valley made a hip with a roof i don't know what you call this but it's unique and i've never seen that before not the way i would have done it by the way satellite install guys wow you guys please just do everyone a favor mount it on a gable or better yet a post in the ground stick a post in the ground don't even get a ladder out this is a prime example of most, I can't say all, satellite people do not know what they're doing. I don't even, yeah, let's pick it apart. <laughs> this is any valley. It's all cattywampus, crooked. There's nothing sealing the screws coming through here. If they're even getting through everything into something structurally sound, I highly doubt it. And look at the angle they bent the bracket so the post comes vertical. There are so many other ways you could have done this. I'm this, I'm gonna have to take a picture of this and put it on Instagram. I don't post on Instagram, but my gosh, actually maybe even the TikTok. By the way, check out the TikTok, Grand Roofing Clips on TikTok. Uh, yeah, this has definitely not been tucked under several new layers. And I actually got lucky right here. There's some damage here. And there is my confirmation. There is shake with at least two layers of shingles on top, I don't know. Uh, this is, this is unique. It'll be fun. Several layers of trash, shake, tear off, all new decking on this side of the house. I do believe that that is one layer on decking, and I believe that is one layer on decking. But until I, like, either take a core sample or can peek up under, I'm not so sure about that either. It's just way smoother. This, not so good. Uh... Yeah, I don't know that that's a really good idea with a sloping po pipe down, sloping into your facial board like that. Reason being, we can probably learn from this. Water, when it rains, hits this pipe everywhere and it's just gonna slope downhill because it's sloping downhill. It's not gonna just drop off. It's gonna slope downhill right into there and probably not too good. Over time, water get in there, start rotting that out. You can see the board's starting to rot just a little bit. Caulking's obviously failed. Also an area for little birds to get into, bees and things, so not good. Uh, that looks to be at least, uh, I can see one. It almost looks like it could be a second layer hidden under there. I don't know, too bright on my screen, can't see it. It looks a little rough. Got some sagging going on. I'm gonna see if the door is unlocked, if I can get in there and see what we got going on structurally. When you see a ridge like this and it dips down in the center and goes back up, typically what's causing that, yes, the weight is being pulled down, but if you don't have braces going across, so say this is a rafter, rafter built, you come off the uh, wall here, run your rafter up and go down the other side. If you don't have an anchor, a brace going, so here, leave this facial board here. If you don't have a piece of lumber or something from here, straight across to here, and it's like a hanger, right? The weight pushing down is pushing this out. That brace keeps it from bowing out. 
when you see a ridge pull like that good indication there are no hanger braces anchor braces whatever there's probably a technical word for it cross braces and what's happening is it's pushing the two opposing walls away from each other almost guaranteed if you go down here we'll try it's kind of melted froster here if you stand right down here and you look that top seal plate's gonna bow out i bet oh looks like they got more than the top seal plate bowing out uh, it's not a good angle for it you really need to get your eyes right down the side of the siding down here uh but that's yeah that's definitely it if you take a chalk line and you screw right here a nail or something you hook it there and you pull it tight across i would say you've got probably a good six to eight inch dip right almost an eight inch dip through that center so there's probably if you want to bring us back to looking good you got to jack us up pull the walls in probably need some uh chain and cable come along ratchet those in support it just maybe rip it all off uh -huh, not not looking good when you have a hip like this bellowed up so high just happen to notice that typically it's every time they add a layer they don't remove the hip they just yep let's just go right over it's perfectly okay even in these towns that require permits and inspections weekend warriors that come when the city is not open and they sneak in and sneak out yep you got a new roof but typically you gotta have some problems it's not gonna last it looks really good right yeah yeah i want this on my house it's beautiful hey they got the row straight at least this way right that's backwards anyway it's good to get back and film a little bit but i do need to cut this one short here and just meta it let's go around see if we can see on the ground over there i do have a lot to get to got a lot to get done today with very little time to do it Ooh, there's some damage up here i'm not going to get on this by myself it's a bit steep although here let's look at one other thing here Uh, nice gutter strap straight up on top here what you're trying to do is verify what the decking is here maybe if we can find a little piece you can roll up uh, it looks like osb focus yeah so that looks like it's been redone at some point i imagine they tore this down redecked it and uh, put a new layer on and that layer is what they just roofed over everything else why buy a 50 60 dollar bundle of hip and ridge when you can just hang your shingle over a little bit <laughs> okay that was an old satellite dish and instead of leaving the bracket and just removing the pipe they just yanked it right out which is kind of scary you should well maybe they they screwed it out. i doubt they yanked it out if they yanked it out it'd probably pull up the shake and stuff here's another pipe Ooh, we got a problem with this one being a little cautious because it is a little frosty uh imagine this is either a dryer or a hot water heater probably hot water heater because typically you don't run dryer through a double wall like this but this is a problem there's no storm collar rain collar it slides down use your flashing shingles tuck under flashing goes on top shingles on top you're flashing so any water coming down comes off on the back side here hits the flashing will eventually run out this is a multiple layer roof over Whoever did the roof hours probably never retuck this. Furthermore, nobody shoved the ring collar on. <sighs> Typically, they make these for a low slope and then a steep pitch. Steep pitch will have a, quite a bit of an angle. So if you imagine that on the roof like this, the pipe comes through. You can trim these backsides and whatever, make your pipe look straight. This is pretty bad. Sorry, I had a call come in. I didn't know if it ended the call. And then you'll shove your storm collar over the top and it and makes a good seal. You don't have water running in here. There's just a lot of things on this that just blow me away. Oh, yeah. Let's just cut an old pipe boot. They make retro boots for this. Oof. Wow. Let's see if I can see under here. Uh, I don't know. Oh. By the way, check out them band-aids. My daughter found a new multicolor pack. The uh, cuts are actually healing rather well from the incident I had last week and sliced my finger open on the trailer. Um, yeah, so basically, doing an estimate here. Oh, look at the wall here. The top seal, well, the, the eave, how it bows out. 
And if you look, here's a good example. It's actually doing it here too. If you look right down the edge of this, you should see right on the corner of this corner cap, the other corner cap. And look how far I'm gonna have to bring this camera out before that other corner becomes visible. Right there, about right there. Let me zoom in. You can see it now and see how it disappears. Disappears between the bow. That is a good example of there's not enough supports between the two sides and the weight is pushing out the walls. That's what I'm talking about on the uh, garage down there. You can see it just bowed out. But yeah, when I'm doing my inspections, especially when we're further away from my home area, I hate driving. I will go around at every angle around the property, document it very well, get the pitch and the slope so I can do these remotely, photograph, uh, get an idea of decking condition layer count things like that so i can have an idea of uh, how much trash where we could pull a trailer in how much labor and time i expect the job to be and then figure accordingly unfortunately a lot of jobs like this we don't get we do get some but we don't get them all no big deal what typically happens in my opinion not always but most of the time they find somebody a little bit cheaper and usually one or two things happens they don't care about quality, they don't care about what they're doing, or they leave out a lot of material because they're not gonna go broke. Well, most of them, some of them undershoot, underbid. Most of them are like, oh, I'm gonna get this job, I'm gonna bid a little bit less. How am I gonna make a profit? I'm not gonna put ice and water down. I'm not gonna put apron down. I'm gonna use the wrong material. I'm not gonna use the material. <sighs> and unfortunately, we lose a lot of work because of a little bit less. Somebody commented recently, I don't wanna not necessarily address it, but bring this up. He's like, hey, why don't you go through, because I, I made a comment that it's not much more to tear off a roof. It does take more time, more labor, more trash, but the problem is, is the people coming in to save them money, even if it's a few hundred bucks, don't do any of that work, the trash, the labor, the material that they're not needing now, like say apron, ice and water, drip edge, because they're just simply gonna put a roof over. They bill pretty comparable, but less than us, they get the job. So that's what I mean by, it's not much more to tear it off. If you do it right, compared to the guys cutting corners, they're gonna make a big, profit. So anyway, we're going long, 12 minutes. Got to get going. Appreciate it. Until next time, be safe. We'll see you on the next video.